Who are my top five waifus in One Piece? Now, I'm making this video, obviously, because it's Valentine's Day. But before I begin, I would just like to thank Roger Bates. I'm sure most of you know him, but if you don't, go check out his channel. He makes some great content. And his video, Top 5 Waifus in One Piece, same idea I'm doing. It's the whole reason I remember today was Valentine's Day. I almost didn't even make this video, so thank you, Roger Bay, for reminding me of Valentine's Day. Coming in at number 5 is Tashiki. Now, what is there to say about Tashiki? Well, one, she's hot. She got good curves, she looks good. Nice breasts. She looks good overall, she's good looking. And secondly, obviously, is that she knows hockey, so she's strong. And she can hurt Logan users, so if I stuck in one piece, and I had to be stuck with someone that was female, I would probably pick Tashiki because, honestly, one, I wouldn't be able to hurt a Logan user. So even if I'm stronger than the Logan user, Tashiki still has a better chance of saving my app from the Logan user than I have of saving her. Yeah, I can't hit them. So, again, yeah, and also, Tashiki also, I really like her character. She really she stands up for what she believes is right. Something not many people in the Navy do. Most of them just follow order blindly. Like during Marine Force, Tashiki literally said, Oh, I like, like my, like this is wrong. We're just killing for the sake of killing. Is this justice? She will question herself. She will question the people that tell her what to do. She doesn't just follow blindly to order the, of the Navy. I really like that. And honestly, She's one of my favorite female characters. Probably not in my top 5, but she's very close. Coming in at number 4 is Koala. Now, Koala is good looking, and strong, and she has some of the best connections you could possibly imagine. Think about it, if you have a problem, right, and Koala can't save your ass, you can literally look at Koala and just say, Koala, call up my man Stabo. Well, and have him come in and just wreck the guy with a dragon claw. Like, really. It's like, Koala's strong, good looking, and she knows, and she's very close to Stabo, and she's close enough to Dragon to have personal meeting with him. So if she can have personal meeting with two of us, with two, ab, with two Avril level and above Avril level characters, in my opinion, of course. But the point is that Koala is strong. She is a. Her morals, I agree with her morals completely. She, is a, she strongly believes in like standing up to the rights of cis men. And I really like that. Yeah, I do obviously think the cis men are treated like shit. And so I agree with her on a lot of things morally. You know, I feel like she would also be very loyal. I thought she'd be very loyal and you were in a relationship with her. I feel like she'd be very loyal. She, she's been with the Revolutionary Army for years. It is heavily implied one of the reasons she joined the Revolutionary Army, and it's also kind of obvious, was because she wanted to, like, change something, because of how much she cared about the Sun Pirates, and how angry she was at what happened. She was like, this government needs to be stopped. And she stayed loyal to Dragon throughout all of these years. And yeah, the only downside to being with Koala would probably be that it looks like her and Stavo had something going on. And I was on a stomach would, would scare the shit out of me. <laughs> and I thought it would probably burn me alive. But the stop but it's her but you know, if she was single, I would go for her. But you know. So cool, yeah, so coming in at number three. Coming in at number three is Vivi. Vivi is good looking. She is loyal. She is, she is rich, of course. She's a princess. Possibly creep. And probably going to be queen one day. And her country is not part of the world government, which in my opinion is a bonus all alone. Because this means you're under you're one of the most protected people. If you're in a relationship with Vivi, you're one of the most protected people in a country not affiliated with the world government. Then you are pretty damn safe in that situation. She also Vivi also had connections to the future pirate king. So if you are ever in deep shit, like if you and Baby ever get in deep trouble, like get captured or something, this girl could literally 
It's the straw I find out. Maybe because of a shit about you, but it's like, like you were with me and you two get like kidnapped by like, I don't know, some like people that want to hold you two hostage or like have them get a ransom from Alabasta. Guess what? The, the, the straw hat find out, you're not gonna, you're going to be saved by the straw hat pirate, and I, and I would love that. Like, that is like my dream to meet the straw hat. That's one of my dreams. So, if I was, if I was in a relationship with Vivi, I would probably get to meet them one day. And also, Vivi is probably going to come back and be very important later on in the story. Because, of course, with the reverie coming up and her father being shown to be sick in a cover page, it is possible that she will have to represent her father at the reverie. Which I am very excited for. But, yeah. So, uh, that's about it for Vivi. So, coming in at number two. Coming in at number two, Nico Robin. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Fuck you, Robin is the greatest, Robin should be number one, but let me explain why Robin's number two first, okay? I love Robin as a kid, Robin as a character, I don't like her that much. See the straw hat, I love all the straw hats tremendously, so when I say I don't like Robin very much, I mean, she's still in my top like 15, my top 20, definitely in my top 20. But as a, but as a character overall, I, she doesn't really stay much. I am a very talkative person. I like conversation. And I don't really like learning. I, I, and I'm really not very big fan of reading. Even though I read a lot of manga, I only read manga really week to, weekly. Like, I don't like starting with the manga. I always start with the anime. It takes a deep love for the theory to get me out of the point of the effort to read the manga. So, I feel like me and, B, me and Robin would have the problem that, that Robin is very quiet, very non-talkative. She also, she's very, you know, in the background, she's very secretive, which I would have the problem with. But, girl, she also has amazing qualities. She's, if she's a complete genius, like, if you ever need to know something, Robin will be able to explain it to you. Robin knows pretty much everything. She's like a, she's literally like a walking encyclopedia. She's great looking. She looks amazing. Her hair, she has beautiful hair, big breath, great curves. She looks amazing. And she's also, she can be very funny. Like, I, I do like, like, when she does talk and make the, like, very mundane joke and a very dark joke, like, when she said on Fifth Man Island, maybe we'll, I wonder what would happen if we all die here with the ocean turn red with our blood. That, I love that moment. That's one of my fa those are some of my favorite Robin moments. Those dark humor moments. I love those moments. But honestly, besides those moments, she's good looking. And honestly, she's also, once again, is going to one day be a member of Luffy's crew. So she'll be one of the most powerful people in the world, probably. I do have a video I plan on making about how strong the straw hat will be at the end of the theory. So yeah, coming in at number one. Coming in at number one is Cap Burglar Nami, navigator of the straw hat pirate. Nami is good looking, she is smart, and she is pretty damn strong for a female in One Piece. <laughs> and she will fight when she has to. And she has great morals. And also, there seems to be a misconception that Nami be their expensive girlfriend. Wait, if you look at Nami's character, if I said Nami, let me buy you it, she would probably look at me and say, why would we spend money on it? Let's just take it. I mean, people act like Nami does like buy things. Not a, a lot of these characters. The same for Robin. They're pirates. They're criminals. Like. I mean, I could just take the stuff I wanted to get done. Literally, I could just take it. Nobody would... Nami would not be pissed off if I stole her something, like a necklace. If, like, if I got her a necklace and I stole it, Nami would probably be like, Good job! You didn't waste money. But Nami, good looking, she's smart, she's strong. People give her a lot of a crap for being super annoying. I don't find her annoying. Because honestly, when I look at like the way she handles like name people like Luffy, I'm like, they're not all the time. As a viewer, I'm normally laughing, but there have been times when Nami has hit Luffy, I've been like, thank you, thank you, Nami. 
Because, like, the, originally, when he was, like, talking about how they were going to throw a banquet with it's the, it's the Jack and his men. No, not Jack and his men. It's the Minx and the Samurai men. I thought they could have a big banquet. I was like, no. No, you idiot. They're going to be a big battle. I was getting annoyed because I was like, I swear to God, if Lizzie tried to throw a party and he messes this whole thing up, I'll be pissed off. Like, Nabe straight up was like, you idiot, no, this will be a big battle. And I'm very impulsive. I do think, it'll, I'm not as impulsive as Luffy by any means, but I do not always think things through. So I can see myself doing something one day, like, really fucking stupid. I, I, I would be that guy, like Luffy, that would probably punch a celestial dragon in the face. Like a retard, I would punch a celestial dragon in the face and of course get in a lot of trouble for that. And then Nani would probably beat the crap out of me, and I would deserve it. Yeah, but honestly, my number one is Nami. And this is just my all my opinion. If you disagree, you disagree. And if you do disagree, tell me your top five one pick white foods in the comment section down below. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out, and happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, so peace.